Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to 301 redirect a page using your HT Access file. Now the reason that we do 301 redirects a lot internally is for marketing purposes. So what we often do is run Google experiments to figure out which landing page is converting the best. And then all the ones that didn't convert the best, we then redirect to the winner instead of deleting those pages. Because when you delete them, those pages might actually be in the Google index. If we did some paid advertising, we might have had social sharing of links to those pages on social media. And we don't want to lose the, the potential traffic that those pages have. And that is why we redirect them instead of deleting them. So whether you know it or not, in WordPress, all redirects are handled by HT Access. So even if you have a plugin that does redirects, it actually updates your HT Access file in order to make those redirects happen. So what we're doing is we're going right to the source to get HT Access file, which means that you can actually avoid installing an unnecessary plugin, which helps your site load time. So for the purposes of this video, I've created two landing pages. One is called landing page. The other is called landing page two. And for this example, the landing page one is the winner. And we're going to redirect landing page two to landing page one via the HT access file. So what we want to do is log into our cPanel account for our hosting. And here we are in HostGator. You can also do this via FTP if you prefer that way. We want to find in the cPanel the file manager icon and then open the route for the website that we want to redirect on. And we will see an HT access file in that folder. If you don't see one, you actually just create one by clicking the add new button, or sorry, new file button, and then type in dot HT access, and then click on create new file. I'm not going to because we already have an HT access. You can also create a new one via FTP. And what you also want to do is create a backup of the HT access file before you make any changes. Because if you do something wrong inside the HT access file, your whole site will go down. And that's no joke. It will actually be blank screen. I have another tutorial where you can see how to backup an HT access file. It's really easy. It's, it's like a two minute tutorial. I've linked to it below this video if you want to see it. If not, highlight the HT access file, click on the edit button. And then when we're in here, this first part is permalinks for WordPress. That's some permalink parameters. And what we want to do is 301 redirects, of course. So what we do is type in redirect 301 space. And then we the next parameter is the old URL that we're redirecting. So old page, space, and then new page. So that's the format. We want to replace this old page one with the old page, of course. So for this video, landing page one was the winner. So the old page is landing page two. And we just want everything after the domain name extension, starting with that forward slash. So we will copy this. We'll go back to the HT access file. We'll paste it right there. Now I want to replace this with the full URL of the page we're redirecting to. So we go to landing page, we copy, and we paste. And that's our 301 redirect all done. I will test it in a second, but I'm just going to go over the elements one more time real quick. We have the word redirect with a capital R, space 301, space everything after the domain name for the old web, for the old page and then the entire URL for the new page, and that creates a redirect. So often, because we're running an experiment with multiple pages, we'll have multiple redirects that redirect to the same landing page. You can have as many as you want here. You're gonna need at least one, but you can have as many as you want. And when you're all done in here, click on Save. And now when we go to landing page two and hit the Refresh button, we should be redirected to landing page one. So there it is, we're on landing page now, and we actually cannot get to landing page two. So if I type in the URL up here, landing page two to try to get to that page, we can't. It always just redirects us back to the plain landing page, which for our purposes when we use this, that was the winning highest converting page, and that's where we want the most people to go, so it makes sense. There are a lot of other use cases for 301 redirects, so it's a very useful skill to know. It's a useful piece of code to have. 
And I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped you. Share it on your social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out WPLearningLab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.